News this hour, Democrat Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer leading a group of dozens of Senate Democrats moving on new legislation to try to reverse the Supreme Court decision that gave President Trump a win and reinforced presidential immunity. Let's welcome to the show the president of the Article 3 Project. He's Mike Davis. He worked for Supreme Court Justice Neil Gorsuch. Good to see you, Mike. Mike, what do you make of this move? Uh, Chuck Schumer once again proves that he is a putz. You cannot amend the Constitution through a statute. You have to amend the Constitution through the constitutional amendment stat, uh, process. And I would say this to these B uh, Biden and Kamala Harris Democrats, Joe Biden's not gonna be in the White House after January 20th at noon. Do they really want the Trump 47 Justice Department prosecuting Joe Biden for his illegal mass parole of over 10 million illegal immigrants into our country and the resulting crimes? Do they really want the Trump 47 Justice Department prosecuting President Obama for the extra judicial drone strike on two American citizens, including a minor capital murder? I don't think these uh, these Democrats want to go down this path. So what you're saying is, you know, the Supreme Court ruled presidents are entitled to absolute immunity from prosecution for actions within their constitutional authority. They're entitled to presumptive immunity for other official acts. There's no immunity for unofficial acts. We know all that. But if you're saying if Schumer's legislation, if he gets his way, that would jeopardize Biden and Obama for what they did, right? Well, that legislation wouldn't go anywhere because Chuck Schumer should know you can't change a constitutional ruling through legislation. But let's just play along and pretend like this legislation would somehow get 60 votes in the Senate and pass the Republican House and get signed by the president. That would put every former president in jeopardy of prosecution by his successor. That would mean we would turn into a third world banana republic. This is how the Roman Republic fell. I think that maybe this is just a messaging ploy by Schumer to say, oh, democracy is in danger to keep this in the headlines. But you know what, the, you know, your point's well taken. I mean, Schumer's legislation goes even further. It would strip, he wants to strip the Supreme Court of its jurisdiction over any appeals that challenge the constitutionality of Schumer's own legislation. What an overreach. That's clearly unconstitutional. They can strip, look, they can, the, the, the Supreme Court of the United States has the judicial power. You can't just take that away from the Sup Supreme Court. The Congress can take away appellate jurisdiction from lower courts, but they cannot take it away from the Supreme Court. Just flat out absurd stuff. I mean, fix America, right? They're still trying to pursue President Trump in the courts. They don't like the law, so they're going to attack in the Supreme Court. That's what's happening. Mike Davis, we appreciate you very much. Coming up.